This video series is a companion to Tree Imagineers publication, Hitch Climber's Guide to the Canopy. Visit treemagineers.com to download a copy. Set up your hitch climber system as shown. Tend slack by pulling beneath the hitch climber pulley and use a thumb and finger on the friction hitch. A rubber stopper will keep the eyes of the hitch cord in place and a tight eye will keep the top carabiner oriented correctly. Keeping the carabiner nose upward allows quick clipping and unclipping. You may wish to leave the center hole open. Here, the center hole is available for lanyard placement. With both climbing line and lanyard consolidated at the bridge, the climber's range of motion is increased. A second climbing line connected to the center hole. Each climbing line may function independently of the other. A swivel on the bridge keeps things oriented properly. Two lines are a big help in slippery conditions or on a long skinny limb walk. The hitch climbers and swivel keep everything nice and tidy. Let's tend some slack. One hand above and one hand below. This is very effective when much of your weight can remain on the limb. For balance, hold on to the tree with one hand and tend slack with the other. A foot ascender is a great addition, particularly when moving straight up. Keep one hand near the hitch. Here we will set up the floating prussic. Unclip the splice from the top carabiner. Pass the eye through the bridge ring and connect to the bottom carabiner. Notice that a slice termination is in use here. A long eye splice may also be used. Remember to avoid bending the throat of an eye splice over the anchor ring. Install a small prussic opposite your friction hitch and connect this to the top carabiner. You may now position the system away from you. Ensure that you can still reach the top of the friction hitch. Long pulls can now be made with both arms while ascending or moving inward, and slack is virtually eliminated. Grab the base of the friction hitch and pull the prussic back to work positioning mode. The floating prussic is quick to set up and easy to use. It will extend or collapse with the climber's weight in the line. Here we install a fimble saver in a conifer. A multi-sling is added to a suitable location nearby. Capture the tail in a pinto pulley and attach it to the multi-sling. The climber descends to work as necessary. During ascent, a mechanical advantage is created for the climber or a ground worker. This also keeps slack to a minimum. When a pulley saver is used, a revolver carabiner fits nicely in the becket of the pinto pulley. If even less friction is desired, Replace the revolver carabiner with an Ultra O and an additional Pinto pulley. This is quite compact and does not interfere with the rope running through pulley saver. A multi sling is placed on a suitable limb. Capture your tail with a Pinto pulley and keep the tail close to your harness 
by clipping it into a revolver carabiner. Descend the limb as you would normally. When returning from the limb walk, your slack is managed automatically and you have a mechanical advantage. Use two hands for balance and remember to have fun. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Hitch Climber's Guide to the Canopy Parts 2 and 3.